The ABCs of Willie's favorite Atari 2600 games is brought to you in part by Arcade USA, the Atari 2600 Game by Game podcast, Douglas McRae, Patricia Goodson Tilko, the letter D, and the number 77. The ABCs of Willie's favorite Atari 2600 games is made possible by a grant from the General Computer Corporation and from viewers like you. Thank you. Well, welcome to another episode of Willie's ABCs of Favorite Atari 2600 Games. Today is brought to you by the letter D. Oh, yeah. And the letter D stands for... Dig Dug. Yeah! Now, I remember first playing this game in the arcade. Uh, I think it was back in the early 80s. And one of the things I really love about the arcade version of Dig Dug was how you can make your own mazes as you're running around in there. I love the play mechanic of the inflatable pump to blow the monsters up. And of course, being able to drop rocks on them. Dig Dub was probably one of my, one of my favorite games of that time uh, to play. I used to play it as much as I could. Matter of fact, I remember when I was heading out to Albany, New York to visit my brother, I stopped at a McDonald's to grab some lunch and there was a Dig Dug machine in there. Never saw an arcade machine inside of a McDonald's before, but it was there. So I played some games there, had some Big Macs, and off I went. Pretty awesome, man. Pretty awesome. I was really stoked when I saw in one of my gaming magazines I was getting an ad saying that Dig Dug was coming to the Atari 2600. It's like, yeah! So, of course, I had to buy it as soon as possible, and I was not disappointed in it. So let's see some of the gameplay, and I'll talk a little bit as I'm playing the game. Then we'll pop this box open and look at the contents inside. Awesome. Let's go pop some bukas. All right. I love this intro screen. It is so cool. All right. It's time to pop some bukas. Pupuka, puka poppin. <laughs> It's actually a pretty good port of the game to the 2600. It's a lot of fun to play. And I like how I'm able to do my rapid fire like I do on the arcade as well. Uh-oh. No! Get up! Oh no! He's gonna get away! Oh! Rats! Alright, try to get it. Whoa! Oh. Try to sneak up on me, eh? I love how you can dig your own bases. I've always liked that about Dig Dug. Alright, come on you. I'll dig a tunnel here so I can get him. Ha! Oh! Oh man, it's a free-for-all here. They're all coming after me. Drop a, drop a rock on him. Make the puka go splat. Oh, 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 yeah! Two for one. Take that and take, oh shoot, where'd you come from? Ha <laughs> ha. Atari did a really good job with this game with the 2600. I, I enjoy playing this just as much as I do the arcade version. I, mean, I was so excited when this came out for the 2600. Oh no! Eh! Crunch. He made a most agreeable splat. Let's see if I can catch this guy here. 
Come on, come on. Come on, I dare you. Come on. Come after me. I dare you. I'll drop a rock on you. Maybe not. Oh, shoot. Oh! <laughs> okay, I gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Gotcha! <laughs> oh shoot! Oh, oh, oh! I got nailed. I love the music. Yeah, what do you think of that? Yes. Oh, it's getting harder now. Ah, you got an extra life. Oh, gang it up on me, eh? Oh, shoot. Oh, I got fried. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's running. He's running. Oh, shoot. Go. Go, little dig dug. Go. Oh. Oh, oh, sh oh shoot! That was stupid. Oh shoot! Go away! Leave me alone! Yikes! Okay, come here, you. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, let's let's take a look at what came in the box after I pop one more puka. Puka pop! Yeah. Love this box artwork. Just like the arcade artwork. I always, like I've said before, I've always loved the artwork that Atari put on their boxes. They're, it's really nice. On the back here, shows a nice picture of the game screen, which is very representative of what it looks like. Pretty awesome. Has an easy play option for beginners. Yeah, that's my favorite version right there. Create your own maze as you tunnel fiercely through the earth. Yeah. That's one of the things I like about this game. You create your own little mazes as you run around. That's a strategy that you can use to try to uh, get the little pukas and frygars to uh, appear in the maze where you want them to, to position them to drop a rock on them or, or get yourself positioned up at the top of the screen to catch them before they get off the screen. Pretty awesome. So in the box, we got, of course... Our cartridge, yeah. One of the silver label cartridges. Same artwork. I love Atari cartridges, they're so cool. And we should have an instruction manual in here. Yep, here we go. Now this one, it looks like it's pretty much just a black and white manual. This, this is where Atari was starting to get cheap evidently, to go from a color manual to a black and white. I still prefer the full color manuals. I love those things. It's actually a pretty thick book because it has different languages inside. English, French, uh, German, Italian, and Spanish. So that's pretty cool. So, wow. <laughs> it's like a Rosetta Stone, man. You can see what it says in English and you see what it says in the different languages. That's kind of cool. It's educational. <laughs> pretty cool. Talks about the controls. Gameplay, what's on the game screen. Pretty awesome. Console switches for difficulty. Here's our scoring. Pretty oh, I like that. Dropping rocks on meaties. One meaty, two meaties, three meaties. That kind of reminds me of the blue meaties from the yellow submarine. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Got the bonus here. Bonus prizes. Carrot, turnip, mushroom, cucumber, eggplant. On up, kind of like Pac-Man-esque, which is really cool. I like the little bonus items. And, of course, the ever, ever helpful, helpful hints. Let's, 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 let's read the first one here. 
The last meeting on a screen will always try to escape, thus ending the round. So if just one meeting remains and the prize hasn't appeared, you may want to stun that meeting long enough to allow that prize to appear. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Really cool. One thing I miss is they don't have a, a backstory in here. Huh. Still a really cool game. Let's give my final thoughts and my other run rep picks for the letter D for my favorite Atari 2600 games. Isn't that an awesome game? They did a heck of a job on the 2600. Uh, I, I love the packaging that they did before Dig Dug, as you can see in my previous little comments there. But some of my runner-up games, I'll pick two, two runner-ups for the letter D. The first one is Activision's Dragster. I spent a lot of time playing Dragster. I love race cars, I love drag cars, and having this game on the 2600 was a lot of fun. Now, I had a drag racing game earlier on my Fairchild Channel F that I like playing as well. But I love the graphics that David Crane did on this version of a drag racing game. It's actually really challenging. Uh, the best I've ever done is like 7.3 or 7.4, something like that. I know there's one guy, I think Todd Fry, that got a really good score on this thing. I can't remember exactly what he got, but I'm, I'm nowhere near that. But I still love playing the game. It's actually a really fun two-player game when you race head-to-head. -head. I get a lot more enjoyment out of that than just playing it by myself. And of course, my other D pick, of course, is a Magic's Demon Attack. Yeah, I love shooting those demons. I love the full color sprites that a Magic used in this game. Plays a lot like Phoenix, which I love the arcade game Phoenix as well. But Demon Attack is just, it's, it's really neat. The varied uh, demons you have to fight, their different flight patterns. I love the multicolored, like I said, the multicolored sprites. That's what really does it for me. Uh, a Magic does some really cool games on the Atari 2600. But that's my two run rep picks for the letter D. What are some of your favorite games for the 2600 that begin with the letter D? Comment below. And thanks for watching. <laughs>